Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the video scheduler internal error you're getting on your Windows device. So specifically, if you're getting an IGDKM64.SYS error. So this should hopefully be a quick tutorial and without further ado, let's jump into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in device manager. Best match that comes up should say device manager. You want to left click on that one time to open it up. And now you want to go left click on the little arrow next to display adapters right here. And now there should be a display adapter listed in this drop down. You want to right click on it and then left click on properties at the bottom of this context menu. Now you want to left click on the driver tab at the top and you want to left click on update driver. I'd recommend searching automatically for updated driver software. And if it says the best driver for your device is already installed, I'd recommend left clicking on the search for updated drivers on Windows Update. I'd recommend restarting your computer as well after you attempt that and see if you're still experiencing the issue. If you are, I'd recommend selecting the rollback driver option which is currently grayed out on my computer because there is no previously installed version of the driver. And if that option is not available to you or does not resolve the issue, I'd recommend opening up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one and you want to get over to Google and you do want to take note of whatever your display adapter name was because I'm in a virtual environment it's a little obscure but most people should have an AMD or NVIDIA driver so for example let's say you had an AMD driver download you can just type into Google and you can go through the main page of AMD or you can just click right from Google it says AMD driver auto detect and then just follow the on-screen prompts Again, you want to get it directly through the company, so you see AMD is in the domain here, amd.com. Don't download it from some site that is spoofing that or looks similar to it. And the same goes for NVIDIA, to be honest with you, so NVIDIA driver download. Something as simple as that kind of Google search, you can see it says automatically detect NVIDIA, and you can see it just keeps going from there. And again, look, it's a NVIDIA domain. It's very straightforward if you know what to look for. You don't even really need to know what you're looking for. You just have to have an idea and you can see what Google can produce. So you can see it's already scanning the system because I obviously do not have any compatible drivers with NVIDIA. It's not going to find anything. But if you have NVIDIA drivers on your computer, it should most certainly work. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to offer you guys some help. And as always, thank you for watching. And I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.